In this video, I attempt an early winter hike of the tallest volcano in North Japan. I want to make a little safety disclaimer in advance that this is not to be done lightly without appropriate experience and gear, which I will detail in another video. This video is for the beauty and the splendor. Good morning, this is Quinlan. I'm here today at the trailhead of Mount Iwate. This is the Umugaishi Trailhead. It's late November, and we're gonna try and climb up in the snow. There's a lot more snow than there's been in the last couple of years, uh, but um, there are people who went up at least as far as the A station yesterday, so there should be a nice a footprint trail going up that far, and we'll see if we're able to get from there to the summit. It's uh, not a sure thing at this point. Um, I'm with Alice today, and uh, we've got snowshoes, all sorts of gear. We're just tying onto our backpack for now. It shouldn't be that cold. Should be glorious. There's a fair amount of snow from the very beginning. A lot more than the last couple of years. But because so many people, about 10, hiked up yesterday at least to the A Station Lodge, there's this nice road of footprints, this nice path. And so it's not anywhere near as hard as it would be if we had to just uh, slog through deep snow on our boots or snowshoes. So probably won't need to put on snowshoes until maybe about 60, 70% of the way up. We'll see. It's a beautiful morning, but the weather is supposed to turn bad around 12. So we're aiming to already be on our way down by then. We started hiking just a little after 7 a.m. after getting up a few minutes before 5 a.m. to get here in time. At this rate, it's probably gonna take us a good long time to get up to the summit, but that's why we left so early in the morning. It's a little icy, but it's just getting warmer and warmer. There was only one car parked when we arrived, and so there may only be one group, one person maybe, we'll see, ahead of us. Fun, fun, fun. Hopefully we'll get out of this safely, up and down. The sky doesn't get much bluer than this, right? Wow, huh? How do you feel? Oh, hot. Yeah. Just hot. <laughs> Alice um, feels like she wants to put on her crampons. Aizen in Japanese. I feel fine without mine, but we'll see who has an easier time of it. It is rather steep going up and up and up and up. So far, it's not particularly slippery though, just steep. This is steep going, very, very steep. But a beautiful day still. But look at this, it's just nearly vertical. I feel a very cold wind now. That big rock up there is the sixth station. Once we get there, it gets really steep, but we're almost to the lodge. We made it to the sixth station and it gets really steep from here. And so um, we're gonna put on snowshoes and uh, you can see I also put on my outer shell and a hat for the rest of the ascent. The wind is really picked up as probably you can hear. Snowshoes are on. 
we're above the cloud line as it is today and it's fairly steep going but the hardest part we have passed we've made it to the seventh station there's the summit not so far away now There is the 8th Station Lodge. I am so hungry. Weather's still good, just windy. We just bumped into a hiker who is, you can see going away right there. And he said he saw a bear on the summit in the winter, right in the central part, the part called Myokodake. And so we're gonna zip up there and hope we can meet that bear, huh? Fun, fun, fun. I'm a little bit too excited at the possibility of seeing a winter bear on the summit. I'm afraid it'll already be gone by the time we make it up there, but we'll see. This is that last steep part. We are reaching the rim of the crater, the caldera, and sadly it's clouding over right as we get up to the top. Our visibility is disappearing. Hope we can see the bear, but even if the bear's right over here, can't see it. Here it is, the summit of Mount Iwate, but I saw online that the sign had fallen down. So the summit sign is not here right now. It's on the ground. Let's see if we can find it. Still the statue of Buddha, the little shrine here are covered in snow. And here's the unfortunate sign. Poor sign.
Hi, this is me from Five Days Later. Allow me to explain why there is no footage whatsoever of the hike down. And also, there wasn't much of the normal footage you see of me just walking by the camera. This was a really challenging hike, and it was my first difficult winter hike of the season, and so I'm still getting in shape for winter excursions, and it was all I could do to just go up and down and film what I was able to film. And so the way down was so slippery and treacherous that I put the camera away completely, sort of gave up on making a video, and just did my best to get safely down. I do think winter hikes in North Japan can be extremely rewarding and great experiences, both in the culture that you can experience in them through the Yamabushi shrines and the other aspects of mountain spirituality here in Japan, as well as just for the sheer beauty of the landscape. However, there are some places that are safe to hike and others that, again, you really shouldn't without experienced guides with you. And in another video, I will make a list of some of the best places that I would recommend for intermediate level hikers who are visiting Japan or visiting North Japan from somewhere else in the country. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the trails.